Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on this Sunday. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. If you are not yet ready for a private session, I am $40 per question. And if you are interested in exclusive membership to the Femacy Lighthouse, where I read for all 12 zodiac signs, and I also do Taurus versus any zodiac sign, I will put the link for you to join the VIP in the comment section. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past. Who does Taurus need to be aware of in the recent past? Coming out here first, we have Capricorn energy, but Taurus and Virgo as well. This is primarily a Capricorn card, okay? Tell me more about the recent past. Talk to me about the chariot in reverse, okay? This is cancer energy. This speaks to the fact that somebody cannot move on or they're feeling stuck. They're feeling like they can't back away. They keep rethinking or going over a situation, all right? Tell me more about what's going on here. Temperance energy coming out here with Sagittarius, all right? There could be a Sagittarius that cannot move on from you. If it's not a Sagittarius, there's somebody here that cannot move on, Taurus. I feel like you are in this energy of leave me alone with the four of pentacles. This is also you. Yes, it's primarily a Capricorn energy. However, this is an earth sign card. And I'm feeling energetically that this is you. This is your vibration where you are being very protective of everything that you have going on right now. And you're choosing to distance yourself from certain people, okay, in the recent past. There's someone here that is showing up as being stuck, okay? They're not moving on or they thought it was going to go more rapidly or quicker. It's just not happening as fast as they thought it would. Um, this was somebody who thought that they would be able to be without you or to carry on. It's just not happening for this person in the recent past. And I feel like they keep reflecting. We have Cancer Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius coming out here in the recent past. If this is not about you, then this is about someone that you already know. Everyone is here for a reason. Even if it's not resonating with your personal situation, you're able to take what resonates with you. And if you have to bring it to somebody else, then you're helping those individuals, okay? And that's who you are. Are, the Hierophant, the leader, the counselor, and the teacher. Spirit, talk to me about what else is going on here in the recent past. Now we have the Four of Cups energy. This speaks to loneliness or somebody feeling like they don't have enough of something. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There could be the Sagittarius who is very lonely. This is someone who misses you. This is somebody who does not have the courage to come forward and tell you, look, I was wrong about something. Even if it's not a Sagittarius, there's an energy here that is holding on to all the pain and just keeping it to themselves and not willing to come forward. I feel like they want to come forward, but they feel like it would be a weakness or that it would just be something that would affect their ego in a way that they don't want to allow. So they're putting their ego first. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. There's somebody here that cannot move on. It could also be a cancer with the chariot in reverse. This energy does belong to cancer energy, okay? Chariot in reverse, cancer energy in reverse. So if this is not about love, there could be a cancer going through something that is very detrimental. There could also be a Scorpio, a Pisces in this energy. And like I said, Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Virgo. Now... Talk to me about the present. Spirit, talk to me about the present when it comes to these energies. What else is going on? All right, so we have the three of pentacles coming out here. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is work. This is building. This is collaboration. And we also have you coming out there with Libra as well as the Empress. So it's like... Anything that has to do with finances, saving money, uh, putting money into stocks, investing into what's going to be lucrative, that's what's on your mind. And it feels like it's going to 
elevate. It's going to get bigger and bigger, all right? The empress is growing. That's what this is saying here. And that's probably why you're over here in this four of pentacles energy, like back off. So you could be telling somebody to back off of you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, but sometimes you know how it is when your friends come around you and it's like they deplete you at times where it's like they want so much of your energy and it's like you guys are having a conversation and all they're doing is talking about themselves. And it's like, where do you get to say your piece, right? So it's like when you have people that drain you like that, you have to take a step back and you have to journal, you have to read, you have to nourish yourself in that way, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of people that are very needy and um, I feel like they're not aware of when they're around you and they're just like spilling their whole life onto you. And I know that you are a helper naturally and you always want to be there for people. But there are times where you need individuals to listen to you, right? And it's like they come to you all the time because you are the Hierophant and you are someone that provides guidance and wisdom. And I just feel like there are some individuals that are unaware that you too need some time and some space. And I feel like you are taking that time and that space since you are enhancing yourself in some way. You continue to grow here. You continue to be in some type of position where people are looking up to how you've accomplished where you are, you know? Now, Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more about the present energy. So right here, we have the Queen of Cups. Who is Petty Betty or Petty Pablo, right? We've talked about Petty Pablo before. Um, Queen of Cups energy. It's like you're over here expanding Empress. And then we have Queen of Cups. Like what's wrong with this person, all right? Whether you're talking to them or not, energetically, they are still present here. They are wanting you to console them or to be there for them. I feel like you are not there for this person anymore. I feel like they have sabotaged the connection, that they have ruined the opportunity, that they have now come to an age to realize what they have done that was wrong. And you are a leading, active teacher and leader in this person's life, whether you talk to them or not, because they are learning by how you are treating them. So if you are no longer present, then that is the lesson for this person, okay? If you are no longer around in their life, then that's how they got served, okay? I don't know if they can get it back. For a lot of y'all, there is no way that this person can reach you ever again, okay? And that's called karma, all right? It took for things to happen a certain way for you to finally decide that, look, I'm not giving my attention to you anymore. And that's how you will lose me forever. Because to me, even if at one time you were important, now you are learning what it's like to be without me. So you can deal with how that feels, right? That's how you serve somebody up. Now, let's take a look at the future. Talk to me about the future. We have the Page of Pentacles coming out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me more about this. Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Nine of Swords. And then we have the Four of Wands. Major emphasis on somebody here not happy at home, okay? Now, is this a family member of yours? Is this a lover? All right, somebody's stressed at home. They're having a difficult issue in their foundation, whether it's at work or where they live at. Okay, I feel like you already told this person what to do about a situation or you were trying to assist this individual and they were still acting like they knew the right way. And now they are starting to realize that they are miserable in a place you told them to get out of. Okay. There's something like that going on. They don't want to listen. All right. Somebody's not listening here. All right. But I feel like you already threw in the towel with this person or you just like pack somebody's bags or you just don't 
reply to the text message because you see right through them. It's like you already know uh, what is to come with this individual, especially if you are highly intuitive, you know? So it's like, I feel like your energy is very good right now. I feel like you are high vibrational, especially with the Empress at the center of the reading. That makes me feel like you are on the right path. You're in the right direction. Unfortunately, you are cutting off people who drain you, right? Because what's the point of having a conversation with somebody if all they do is talk and then you got to sit there and listen? Like, you need to be able to speak to Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be able to... Uh, mutually have some sort of vibration with somebody. It's not all about them. So there could be a selfish energy around you that you feel like, you know what? Every time I talk to this person, it's all about them. It's never about us, even if it's a friend. So it's like, no, you're trying to be an energy vampire and I'm going to cut you off. So there's something like that going on, right? Anything else for Taurus? All right, and we're ending with your energy, the Eight of Pentacles. Just keep working on what you're doing. I think that you're doing a fabulous job. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.